Hey, Dr. Deb Schreibman here. What's healthy? We are. We are going to talk about one of my most favorite things in the entire world, and that is a good old European vacation. I, like most people in the world, I think really love vacationing. And I know a vacation can be really actually quite stressful for a lot of you out there for a lot of different reasons. Some people are afraid of flying. Some people are afraid of the ocean. Some people are afraid of what am I going to have to eat? I know this because when my son was young, he had a dairy allergy that was anaphylactic. And so it stressed me out to no end every time we had to travel. What if our plane is delayed? What if it's canceled and we have to sleep in an airport? And where am I going to get food for him that doesn't have dairy in it? That child, when he was little, all I had to do is touch him. If I had consumed dairy, he would have an anaphylactic reaction. So I totally understand freaking out over food. But on the other side of that, I will tell you, as he's grown older and we've worked on his gut and his microbiome and gotten everything balanced in there, he can actually in, um, intake, I don't know, I think it was 12 ounces of dairy and not go anaphylactic, which is huge for somebody who has anaphylaxis, especially to food. But I want to talk to you about when you go overseas and how when I go overseas, I actually lose weight. People are always like, oh my God, I'm going on vacation. I'm going to gain a thousand pounds. But you know what? When you go over, overseas, especially like across the pond or to other places where they don't genetically modify their food like we do in this country, they don't use those huge pesticides, herbicides, insecticides, fungicides, all the stuff that changes the food that we're eating. So when our bodies get in there and go, wait a minute, is this really dangerous? Is this really gluten? Is this really wheat? Hmm, it's not what I think it is. So I'm going to launch an attack on it because it's a foreign invader. It goes and it attacks. That's what happens in this country all the time to people who have a gluten sensitivity, a dairy sensitivity. You know, have you ever heard of that person who's like, oh my gosh, I went out to a seafood restaurant. I've never had an allergy to seafood. And I ate shrimp and I ended up in the emergency room because my eyes swelled shut and my mouth was swollen and I was having trouble breathing. It's because they're feeding food to our fish and to um, even our cows that are genetically modified. They're feeding them food that is not part of their natural diet. So the muscle that we get, the meat that we get, the fish that we get, that we're eating, then our bodies are like, wait a minute, this is not what I'm used to eating. Something is different and it's not right. So I'm going to go attack it because it doesn't know any better because it doesn't know what a pesticide is, what an herbicide is, what an insecticide is. So if you're that person that you had this allergic reaction magically as an adult, it was probably the quality of the food that you were eating. And one of the things that I have found for myself, for my son, for my husband, when we go traveling and we're either in in even Mexico, when we're in um, the Caribbean, when we were in Alaska, oddly enough, I know it's still part of the US, but they didn't have any problems with any of the food there. When we go to Italy, when we were in Switzerland, when we were in Spain, when we were in Turkey, no problems at all. In fact, we all, I think, lost weight while we were doing that because our bodies are like, oh, this is food. So it eats it. It takes the nutrients out of it, absorbs it, uses it, and we poop out the rest as toxins. So it's really kind of cool to be able to know that there are other places in the world that you can eat and be safe and actually lose weight even when you're eating foods that you think you should be gaining weight on. For me, it's usually something like ice cream or a cake or something that I normally wouldn't eat at home because of how it's made here, how it's prepared here, the pesticides, herbicides, insecticides, fungicides, all the genetic modification of our wheat, of our gluten, of our soy, all the different things, all the stuff that, you know, they say, oh, this is an all natural meat, but actually they put the stuff in the feed. I mean, there's all kinds of ways that they get away with doing this, that people are not educated enough to understand and to know that this is actually still food that our bodies can't look at as food. So if you're anything like me and you want to actually lose weight on vacation, go over to Europe, go somewhere where the food is clean, where your body can recognize it, and you too will lose weight just like me and my family do when we go on these beautiful vacations. Now, 
I hope that this helps. I know it's really confusing. If you have any questions, don't ever hesitate to reach out to me. And until next time, wishing you loads and loads of love and light and health and happiness. Bye-bye. Have a question? Email us at feelbetter@lakepointwellnesscenter.com. You can always go to feelbetterhere.com for more information. And to make an appointment, call 770-974-5215.